गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द प्रैक्टिकल प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ वैल्यूशन ऑफ गुडविल ओके माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज द प्रैक्टिकल प्रॉब्लम ऑफ द फर्स्ट मैथड एवरेज प्रॉफिट मैथड दिस इज द क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन दिस इज द क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन फ्रॉम योर बुक डी के गोयल ओके यू कैन सी द क्वेश्चन एंड सॉल्व अकॉर्डिंगली Okay, my dear students. So for you, I read the questions once again. In the question, there is given that calculate the value of goodwill on the basis of three-year average profit, three-year purchase of weighted average profit of the last five years. Profit to be weighted one, two, three, four, five, and the greatest weight is to be given at to last year. Profit of the last five years were. Profit in the question there is given. The profit of the last five years. So you can see 2015, 16, 17, 18, and 19. And in the question that is given, profit of the last five years for the 2015 rupees 80,000, 16 one lakh 5,000, 17 the loss of rupees 20,000, 18 rupees one lakh 80,000, and 19 rupees two lakh. Getting you all up. So a According to question, first of all, we will calculate the adjusted profit of the following years. First of all, we will calculate the adjusted profit according to the given questions. Getting you all? So see here, and how can we calculate the adjusted profit? So we have to see what for this we have to see questions. So first of all. In the question, two thousand profit, two thousand fifteen profit. There is a profit of two lakh fifteen thousand. And regarding fifteen, there is one adjustment is given. What type of adjustment is given? In the question, is saying the closing stock as of thirty first March two thousand fifteen was overvalued by rupees forty thousand. What closing stock of rupees forty thousand is Over value of rupees forty thousand in which year two thousand fifteen. So we will over value means closing stock. First of all, we will think about it. Okay, closing stock, closing stock where we will consider in the credit side of trading account. Getting you all in the class eleven in the credit side of trading and P L account. Getting you all. So when the over valuation of the closing stock from 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 the rupees forty thousand, it will increase the amount of gross profit. Definitely, the gross profit, the net profit. When the gross profit will increase rupees forty thousand, the net profit also will increase because it is over valued. So first of all, we will calculate the adjusted profit of the two thousand fifteen. So see here. It from rupees eighty thousand, we will less over valuation of stock. Over valuation of stock rupees forty thousand. What we will deduct from rupees eighty thousand and the for two thousand fifteen year profit is what forty thousand. Uh, to forty thousand. This is the adjusted profit of the two thousand fifteen. Again, we will come in sixteen two thousand sixteen. My dear friends, you have to very concentrate on the questions. In the fifteen, the question is saying the over valuation of closing stock, and as we are knowing, the closing stock of the last year, it will become opening stock for the current year. Got it, Ola? Means whatever closing stock is over valued. That will that stock in the sixteen what we will consider as opening stock. So once in two thousand fifteen closing stock is upper side and in two thousand fifteen opening stock is opening stock where we will consider in the debit side of PL account in the debit side of trading account sorry. So when we will see the debit side of Trading account, then our gross profit from the rupees forty thousand will low. Okay, so what we will do? Over valuation of our stock forty thousand. That will be 
added in the year 2016 for 2000. First, first adjustment. Okay, for, for the 2016. See here, my dear students, 40,000 of the 40,000 closing stock of the year 2015. That will be opening stock for the 2016, and that will be added in what where in the profit in the amount of profit. Getting it all? So 40,000 we will add. One more adjustment is given. In your question, what in the in front of 2016 profit there is given the profit of 2016 including rupees 41,500 abnormal gain, abnormal sorry loss. Okay, abnormal loss of rupees 41,500. So it is included in this amount of profit. So my dear students, I want to tell about one thing. What profit? Profit? How? How many type of profit? Normal profit and abnormal profit. Normal profit means whatever we are getting from the normal course of business. Whatever we are getting from the normal course of business that is called normal profit. Like from the purchasing and selling of the goods, if you are getting profit, then it's, it is called normal profit. And when abnormal profit is abnormal due to the abnormal reasons, due to the abnormal causes. Okay, suppose we are going somewhere and we get the rupees 5 lakh or 10 lakh, yeah, through lottery. So these, what, what is this? This is the abnormal reason from which we are getting the profit. So. In the year 2016, there is an abnormal loss of rupees 40,000, which have been already have been deducted from the profit of the 2016. So, abnormal gain or abnormal loss will not consider under normal profit or the normal course of business. We will not consider. If the abnormal gain is given, then we will minus. And if the abnormal loss is there, then we will plus. Okay. So, we will add back 41,500 so we will add back 41,500 in the year 2016 1,5,000 there is profit 40,000 opening stock that will be added and 41,500 abnormal loss ok we will what then it will, it will be total of the amount to be 1,86,500 for the year 2016 Okay, next 2017. We are calculating adjusted profit for the years. Okay, for the following years. Okay, 17. There is a profit, there is a loss is given in the portion to minus to 20,000. I have written in bracket so you can easily understand this is the amount of loss. In 2017, there is a loss of 20,000. Okay. In the question they is saying a uh, abnormal gain is included in this amount. So what we will do? Abnormal profit. Getting the owner, whatever I have told in the last. Okay. So abnormal gain we will what? Minus. So I have written in bracket. Okay. 40,000. Getting the owner. In 2017, you can see the amount of loss is there for rupees 60,000. Okay, next come 2018. There is a profit of rupees 180,000 is given, and in the question is saying, question is saying what rupees 60,000 rupees of repair we wrongly debited to machinery account in the adjustment number 2 it is same ok you can see the questions in 2018 profit of the 2018 there is 180,000 minus 60,000 what it is wrongly debited repair where it will go repair in the debit side of PL account and it will decrease our profit and machinery will be debited when the machinery will be wrongly debited then the it means a uh, unrecorded assets, a uh, unprofit is big, becoming here, being here. 
getting older. So what do we do? A sixty thousand amount of machinery we will less. But one thing you have to consider here: what depreciation is given in the adjustment. Depreciation we are charging twenty percent rate through diminishing balance method in the class eleven rate and down value method. Diminishing balance method. So what we will do? Sixty thousand, sixty thousand. On rupees on sixty thousand, we have already charged amount of depreciation from the date. Date is given in the question. First July two thousand seventeen. So it will it is it will be the period for the nine months, and we will calculate for the nine month depreciation is rupees nine thousand, and depreciation where it will go means our wrong depreciation already we have charged on the. On these assets, so so wrong depreciation, so wrong amount of depreciation. So it is decreasing my profit. Again, we will add back rupees nine thousand. Getting here nine thousand, we will add back and the the adjusted profit for the year two thousand eighteen rupees one lakh twenty nine thousand. See here rupees one lakh twenty nine thousand. Okay. Again two thousand nineteen nineteen. See here. Two lakh profit is given, and the in there is no any depreciation, no any adjustment is given for the regarding ninety. But you have to consider one thing: what depreciation, whatever we are charging in the eighteen, that means that already we have charged in what in two thousand nineteen. So the amount of depreciation in according to depreciation balance method. So we will calculate the amount of depreciation rupees sixty thousand sixty thousand into twenty by hundred into nine by twelve. What ninety thousand nine thousand sixty thousand minus nine thousand come it will come fifty one thousand and on fifty on rupees fifty one thousand we will charge the amount of depreciation it will come ten thousand two hundred ten thousand two hundred. Okay, my dear friends. So ten thousand two hundred. What? It is wrongly debited depreciation, and it is decreasing my profit. So we will add back in the profit, and the final adjusted profit is two lakh ten thousand. Getting you all up? So the so you can you are watching here. What? Two thousand fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and these all are the adjusted profit. Means we have adjust adjust adjusted. Okay. And after we have calculated this amount of profit, the first step is what the calculation of adjusted profit. Then after we will calculate weighted average profit. What weighted average profit? Weighted average profit means weighted average profit go in the chapter number one when we were calculating what interest on drawing weighted method. So we will. We will implement the same methods here for the calculation of the goodwill. Okay, see here, calculation of average weighted average profit. See here, weighted average profit profit for the following year adjusted profit forty thousand for the year number one. Okay, eighty six one lakh eighty six thousand five hundred sixty thousand. Ye this and two lakh ten thousand two hundred into five. And then we will calculate what product. Product means this into by two three. Then we will get this number. And after calculating this number, the total of this product is eighty lakh. Okay. As we are knowing, weighted average profit is equals to total product. The formula is total product by number of years. Total products one lakh eighty thousand by fifteen. It will come. Weighted average profit one lakh twenty thousand, and after calculation one lakh twenty thousand, the amount of goodwill as we are doing the formula, goodwill is equal to weighted average profit into number of year purchase one lakh twenty thousand into three. The amount of goodwill is your answer three lakh sixty thousand. So by this way you can solve the questions of all the methods of the goodwill. Hope you all are getting, and please do all the questions. It's my humble request to all of you. Okay, for today, thank you, thank you very much.